Hi family, it's your girl Lovelyn. Um, I came to see the dentist today, okay? Um, this is my belly pump today. That's my baby. We are doing just fine. But for this now, my tooth has been so painful, as in like, the pain is terrible, to be honest with you. But what happened was this, earlier this year, like December, 2020 December there about I went to Nigeria I noticed that there was a crack on my tooth while I was eating I don't know what happened so I came back to Kuwait and uh, went to a, a private hospital and saw the, the dentist there she referred me to you know the specialist about it so I took her reference later when they they look at the teeth the doctor treated it and filled it up I went home three days later the pain is just like there was much pain that was you know inflicted on it all over again after like how many days I called back the hospital she should come back when I went she said it's, it needs feeling uh, she said it needs a root canal not feeling they have to carry out root canal I said why what she said the, the for me to be feeling pain means it has gone deep my people I accepted they carried out the root canal you know the process of root canal is not a joke it's a process that is horrible and painful i really went through pain and when the lady was performing the root canal on me to be sincere with you i wasn't really comfortable with the way she was behaving like she took too long and i was feeling the pain right deep inside she finished the treatment and everything and i left Still, pain was still there. I was still feeling the sensation there. A week later, I called the hospital. She come. I came. She gave me a, a, a drug. I should take. Says inflammation. I said there's no inflammation. She. I took it. Says gum inflammation. I took drug. Finished. Pain was still there. I went back again. She's telling me it's not the same tooth. It should be another tooth that's causing the pain. That um, this is root canal. I said I know. Okay, I know roots canal. When you, when you have done roots canal, you're not supposed to feed anything in that tooth again because just like it's dead, dead and gone. And I was supposed to have carried out the crowning on this teeth, but I've not carried out the crowning on it because of I just let me wait because this one I'm feeling pain like this. If I crowning is expensive, about five hundred um five hundred dollars to do the crowning in their hospital there. So why would I pay such when I'm still feeling pain on the tooth? So I went back, this lady did not want to. She Every time I go, she's telling me the pain is from um, another tooth. I said, there's no other tooth. Um, it's my body. I know where I'm feeling the pain. With all the delay, delay, the next thing I discovered I was pregnant. So there's no more I could go there. But man, the past, last month, which was October this 2021, the pain has been so horrible. Like, so horrible. So for these few days, this month of November, today is the 6th of November, yeah, 2021, the pain has been so bad, the pain has been so terrible, like, I can't even close my mouth as I'm talking, I'm feeling pain on the same, the same tooth, I know the tooth, the same tooth where they feel it and, guys, please, if you're a man watching this, your wife is pregnant and she complains of tooth, yeah, I, I've read it, I've researched and I've asked some dentists, they said, Pregnancy comes with tooth problem, and I have friends that lost their tooth while they were pregnant. I am one of them. My first pregnancy, I had a tooth pain. So immediately after giving birth, I went to the government clinic around my area. They up, they removed the tooth like without giving me anesthesia, with the concern for my baby. Guys, I ran crazy in the hospital. I was literally screaming. I ran. My head was spinning. I ran from upstairs, ran down. Thank God one nurse saw me and she called me, gave me injection. That was what the pain just, it was terrible. My head was banging. Imagine removing someone's tooth with the excuse of not giving me an answer because of my baby. Please help your wife. If your wife is going through tooth pain while in pregnancy, yeah, tooth pain is painful generally. It's, it's crazy. Then now talk of it in pregnancy is not funny. And with my toddlers as well, they have to talk, you have to correct the children and the whole pain has been so bad. So this morning, I decided to come to this other hospital, Dr. Tit. I have had an encounter with them. They are very good. Yeah, they are friendly and they give you attention. So what made me even go to that clinic, what is their name again, was because that doctor referred them. I won't mention their name. The other doctor referred me to them. That was why I went there. But Dr. Tit, these people are good. Okay, so this morning, that's why I'm here. Let me go and make complaint. But I don't think they will do much because of my condition as it is now. They can't carry out extra 
um, I was actually telling my husband, let's go and continue with that other hospital since they have the issue already. But of what use is it? If they couldn't do anything before I, I became pregnant, is it now they will carry us on? So you follow me now, let's go up and see if there's anything these people can help me do because really I need help. Even if I'm taking painkiller, how long am I going to take painkiller? How long is it going to last? The pregnancy, you know, that painkiller is not all that good. So. God help me this morning. I um, will go and check. I'll take you along with me. Let's know what they will say. But if you are pregnant, please try as much as possible to care for your tooth. You know, the issues that come up with tooth while in pregnancy is not an easy thing. So, guys, let's just go. Okay, family. So, we are up now. Um, the doctor is busy and I'm waiting for the receptionist. That's the view from here you can see outside <laughs> it's such a beautiful place we've got some beautiful stuff around when you wait just look around you i'm waiting okay fam so we're all i'm waiting for the sessionist so out there right now so wait for them to show up i've seen the doctor that I tell it to me before, he's busy right now, so I just have to wait. So you chill with us while we wait for them to attend to me. It is well. shape of your face. Please, I don't know. Let me ask her. Because another tooth is removed from there as well. Just went now and I've seen the doctor. I'm sure we saw um, what uh, he was doing. I had to make a complaint to him and he was like when you do root canal you're not supposed to be feeling pain, even water, whatever you eat. So there's a suspicion that it wasn't cleaned well or you know saliva entered the while they are doing the stuff or they did clean out everything properly that's the course and all that so i'm giving a letter here to go and give to my gyno so my gynecologist is going to write for them if it's appropriate to extract the tooth because that's what they want to do right now to extract the tooth because the pain is so much you saw when they were doing me x-ray i was concerned why do x-ray while i'm pregnant x-ray but they said it's okay there's no problem you carry that x-ray Everything it looks okay. The roots cannot look okay from the x-ray, but I don't know why the pain is so intense over there. So now I'm going to give my gyno this. I have two hospitals I'm using, government hospital and private uh, hospital. So I will choose either of them. So what I'm going to do right now, sorry about the noise. What I'm going to give my doctor now is going to write if it's appropriate for them to extract the tooth what antibiotics is okay for me and then what you know anesthesia that can be given because you have to numb the tooth before it can be extracted so that's the problem we are right now so i have to go and get an approval from my gynecologist with his stamp then i come back again to the hospital and see the doctor if they approve it i don't think i have any other choice right now because the pain is bad left for me i wouldn't want to remove this because it's just close to my here. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. But let's go and get approval. <laughs> hi, hi, family. How you all doing? Um, so I'm just coming back now from my hospital appointment. Today is the 21st day of November. I know I made it. I'm, I'm taking us along with the um, details of my tooth issue that I talked about earlier. Um, I was asked to go and get appointment, get approval from my doctor before they can uh, remove the teeth, the antibiotics, and all that stuff. So I went to see my gyno from the government hospital. I told her then she told me no problem. I should go to the government uh, clinic by itself. But you know what happened? The hospital I went to previously gave me a call that 
they, I should not bother coming to their clinic again. They cannot handle me because of my condition, because of the pregnancy that I should go elsewhere, maybe to the ministry or somewhere. We made a call through to other hospitals, some doctors. They said because of pregnancy, there's nothing much they can do. So guys, I had to start praying. I said, God, please. I don't even want to look at the tooth, to be honest with you, because I know pregnancy comes with toothache. And I know a lot of people have lost tooth during pregnancy. And at the end of the day, <laughs> maybe after pregnancy, the pain would have stopped. So all I do every day, every night, is I use warm water to rinse my mouth after brushing, lasting in the night. And the pain has subsided to a large amount, I must tell you. And I'm so grateful to God for that. So I've got to my doctor, the, the, the clinic, government hospital, and she said, no problem, I should go and carry out the extraction. Like I can take antibodies, but trust me, I don't want to take antibodies seriously because I've seen some kids that when they are born, their teeth are coming out, it's discolored, and when you ask, they say maybe due to the drugs their parents do while pregnant, especially antibodies. So please, I don't want anything to happen to my princess. Can you imagine? I've been praying for my baby girl and she's here and they want to give me antibiotics. And... So this is update, and I think the video will end here because I don't want to go on with the extraction anything but if i get any option like i got a doctor a dentist from nigeria she uh, prescribed a mouthwash that i can use i've not been able to see the mouthwash so if i can get it good i'm fine and somebody also said i can use gloves use it to rinse my mouth make sure i don't swallow it but i've not been able to try that okay so for now we are doing good this is our belly bump today baby is doing so fantastically well and i'm good i'm doing so fine Right now, I eat with just this side of my teeth. When I, I can brush easily now, before I couldn't brush before so easily, so I can brush my teeth so well. But now, I chew with this part of my mouth, and I'm praying this place doesn't get affected, all that teeth and all that. So, we have a few months left to go. So, and I'm really, really warming up. I can't wait to get my princess out, to be honest with you guys. I, so this video is to encourage you if you are pregnant and you're going through toothache man try and do what you can do if you don't mind the antibiotics good and fine i have a friend who you know extracted hers while she was pregnant like i said my first baby i lost a tooth because i was having the pain but i waited until after giving birth like two months after delivery they extracted it and it was terrible the pain was bad so excruciating so you can feel that and if you're not watching this, please take care of your wife. If she's having to take in pregnancy, I must tell you, it's not an easy pain. The pain is, is dead crazy, to be honest with you. It's just like, ah, and imagine again having such pain with toddlers. It's nothing funny, but God has saved me. Even if they are shouting at them, then they, I can't even stand noise. I can't even start talking. It was so severe. But right now, I can't. <laughs> do all of those so god has healed me and i'm grateful to god seriously it's not what i did it's not what anything it's just god's mercy so let's keep praying for pregnant women and lot comes with pregnancy and i pray that we all deliver safely with nothing broken and nothing missing god bless you so much see your girl pillow don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and she out pain tooth pain in pregnancy is not funny God bless you. Ciao.